company. Good day, ma'am. You too. Getting into too big to fail territory. Well, you know what they say. Actions? Check. Rifle? Already stowed. Fuel? Both ship and generator? I feel... <laughs> well, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. I've never left the planet, so no, I do not. Please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? I do. In this line of work, it's essential, don't you think? Not seeing people come back would not only suggest that they're not satisfied with our business, 
but that whatever they purchased had failed, leaving them unable to return. I would not be able to sleep at night if I thought that were the case. Good luck on all your adventures. As you can see, traffic is good. The sails keep climbing. And there are two locations in New Atlantis. Welcome to Whetstone. If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. <laughs> you must be joking. I have an exclusive contract with the Trade Authority. It's all shipped in from Offworld. And no, I'm not divulging the planet of origin. I'm sure we'll see you again. Where do I know you from? Oh, yes. Lynn mentioned hiring some brand new miner before she left for that job. I must have seen your picture in the contractor database. I take it this means the job's done then. Good to know. So what can I help you with? Take care out there.
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Captain, it is. Carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. I will follow behind you. Good day, Hi, Captain. Commencing item exchange protocols. Good day, Captain. Auto shutdown initiated. I do not understand your attachment to all these objects. Auto shutdown cancelled. Mic on. Mic off.
You should return to your quarters to rest. You appear tired. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Captain, greetings. Understood, Captain. Yeah? Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast, check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? No objections.
We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Bye for now. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Oh, sorry, but no. UC citizenship is all earned based on service. They should have covered this in your civic lessons. Go figure. United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him, but Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Ask whatever you'd like. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics. Calculating optimal trajectories for grav jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. 
We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. Auto shutdown initiated. Auto shutdown cancelled. Mic on. Mic My off. My considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I'll be here. Talk to you later. liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact Security standards, chemical sniffers. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. A diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law's the law, sir. And that one belongs. isn't the same as the real thing. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... concise. Time to go?
the whole Crimson Fleet started out as some convicts who overthrew a United Colonies prison outpost. Guess the guards forgot to lock the doors.
Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. from the harsh Martian landscape. Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. Need some work done? Shutdown initiated. Auto shutdown cancelled. Mic on. Mic off. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down. 
downhill, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Remember, keep it breezy so you don't get weedy. Mining's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. The bull and rock. Fox out of the group. Not building spaceships. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. What's your poison? He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. You in the service? I know the feeling, but, uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But, <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... Got problems. What do you say? Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Maybe. Need to think about it.
Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? Maybe. All right, I'll give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. How's it going? Can I help you? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Yo, this dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took him things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did, and I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it, like, right away. The hell's that about, right? Cool. That's what we do here. See you around.